Stealth? Doesn't seem to have a lot more. How about cold blood? Eh. Well, let's get 12 for the reflexes, I think. Is that the right one I wanted to get? I might have just fucked up. It was this one, okay. The last round deals double damage, but increases crit damage by 10%. We want that more so than uh, any other, I think. So, pistol is the main focus of this run so far. That, well, silence weapons, really. That and the uh, sniper rifle. I mean, I can't help but de not deny the sniper rifle because of how overpowered it is. Let's continue getting these little side missions that are out in the, the wild. The Badlands, as they're called. Uh, body helps us with more health. Intelligence helps us with armor. So we might split it. Five and five. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported near I-9. Groups in question tied to a series of robberies in the Badlands. Group is led by Bruce Ward. I repeat, Bruce Ward. Affiliated with the so-called Rape Gang. NC authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the group. Well, I fucked up, apparently, so we can't miss a single shot. We gotta hit him, no matter what. But it doesn't really matter when we ping him like that. We can just pop him through anything that they're trying to use as cover. And even a body shot with this gun is... Dropping him. And the other thing they make sure they don't want to do, or they should have made sure they didn't want to do, was uh, stand behind each other, because that just results in me killing more people with one bullet. It's definitely the point at which I've become overpowered. A crafting specs for a uh, legendary copperhead. That's pretty awesome. Probably don't even need to collect those weapons anymore, but then again, we just got crafting specs for a weapon. It was the target that we got the crafting specs of. Oh wow, he had a big heavy gun. Uh, take care of the dumping. Oh hey, greetings and good day. To Vincent's, how are you today? Oh, and your community. Whoa, hello. I just realized what it was. Hello, welcome. What uh? What have you been playing, Vince? Is it? No, it's seven. Seven. Derp. That was definitely an exclamation point. Derp. Well, lid. Gotcha. Nice. I'll be switching over to Let It Die in like two to three hours or so. Seven, yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. There's some stuff that I don't like missing. Ah, got it, okay. Yeah, I have a, a little system where it's like I play a main game and then I have a side game. Well, technically two main games. Currently, Cyberpunk 2077 is my main game. I'm doing a hardest difficulty 100% playthrough of this game. And I am then going to... Oh, awesome. Look at the glitch. Lovely. The visual glitch, one of the easiest ones to fix. You just hard save it and then reload it. But... This is the only big issue with this game. Uh, I am a street kid. Look at this. This makes the car look pretty cool. But I'm a street kid. Hard, hardest difficulty I'll show you in the settings. Which is... Where is it? Gameplay? Yeah, very hard. Aim assist is off for both shooting and melee combat. 
and all that jazz. Uh, well, let's let's do a save and then fix the glitch. I mean, at this point, it's gotten to the stage where it's like kind of a joke to deal with anything that's under leveled for me. Like I could walk up to people and just bonk them with my melee weapon. Actually, I will bonk some people with my way melee, my melee, my melee weapon. Now that I've uh, got so many individuals chilling. Oh, obviously you got to take uh, rumors and leaks with a grain of salt, all right? But a couple days ago, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw somebody tweeting out the fact that. They may be releasing a complete bundle of the Metal Gear series. Like, every single game for, I think, PlayStation 5. They may reveal that information soon. And I'm like, it's a leak. So, like, in quotation marks. So it's one of those things, it's one, I don't know. It's, whoa, you gotta chill. Don't get too hype. It's a leak. So you can take it only with a grain of salt. But if that leak is true, well, I know what series I'm definitely gonna be streaming. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect opportunity to show you uh, how this game at this stage is really a joke. Well, first of all, your aim sucks. I know I got you excited. I got excited too, but I'm like, I can't get too hyped for it because it's a leak. And if it doesn't be true, my heart will break. And I just can't. I just gotta be like, I'm playing on PC right now, uh, with my PlayStation 4 controller hooked up. But yeah, this game still has a couple of little like issues with certain things. Like if you're in the middle of a mission, I think if you then try and take a screenshot using the camera mode they have, it will crash your game. That was a fun little thing. Did they, 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 they patched it. Okay, the patch that they fixed, that I'm so glad they fixed, was a crafting issue. And what I mean by that is, the save file has a, had, at that time, an 8 megabyte limit, right? So, what would end up happening would be if you would craft a lot of things and then sell to shops, it would increase your save file a lot. Right? Um, I'm a kind of person that has figured out different exploits or, or oversights to use to my advantage. Exhibit A, I have focused entirely on crafting, right? As you can see, I leveled this up first, and this is my perk tree. You really don't need tune-up. Tune-up is actually a waste of a perk point. Uh, I have $410,000. Here's how I have $410,000. I have all these these perks, right? We go over to crafting. We go all the way down to common. We go to bounce back and we go, hey, how you doing today? You doing good? That's great because it only takes three common and one uncommon to make bounce backs. And then when you make a significant amount of these, you go to your backpack inventory. You go to bounce back, wherever the heck those are. Where are they? Right here. And you go, oh, hey, I've made 27 of these, but I'm getting six common components and three uncommon components. Well, shit, might as well just make a profit on components. And then, here's the, here's the big one. Are you ready for the big one? Are you ready to have your mind blown? <clears throat> Max Doc Mark 3 only costs nine uncommon. I mean, four uncommon and nine common. Well... We'll just chill here for a few moments and make a bunch of Max Doc Mark 3s. And after we're done, with, when we're satisfied with a certain amount, we'll go to our backpack and we'll go to Max Docs. And we'll, oh, look at that. We're getting a little bit back that we spent. So we're getting four, uh, unco uh, four common, three uncommon, three rare, both components and like crafting and upgrade components. One rare and one or a uh, three. Wait, I said rare twice. Epic. My bad. My apologies. 
one epic crafting component and three epic upgrade components. Now, if you're sad that you don't have a method to get legendary, well, you'd be wrong. There's a side mission where after you complete said side mission, you get a crafting blueprint for gold grenades. Well, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to craft 24 of these. Uh, it takes a grenade when you do it. Also, there's a 10% chance that it won't. It just won't cost me any resources like just then. It didn't cost me any resources to make that grenade, so that's a profit right there. I literally just made one legendary component by doing this. The only downside is you can't really... you ha like The only thing you're losing, in quotation marks, is the grenade, because you can't disassemble grenades that you craft, like common grenades. But when you can craft common max... Uh, what, they're not max docs. What are they called? Bounce backs. When you can craft common bounce backs and then disassemble them, it doesn't really matter how many you need. Because then we'll go to inventory. And here's the other cool thing. We also have perks that allow us to potentially get extra resources. So when I disassemble this, I should only have 33, 35 uh legendary components don't don't forget to mention the legendary craft uh, upgrade components that i'm going to be getting for doing this too we should only have around 33 plus a couple that we made for uh three oh let's let's actually disassemble all of them so i can prove my point 49 we got a couple of extra components there yeah it gets, it can get pretty crazy. It's honestly how I was able to do, hold on. It's honestly how I was able to do this. You know how you can get iconic weapons in this game? Wait, oh, that's neat. Didn't know it could do that. Uh, I've made all my iconic weapons legendary, Mile. Well, for the most part, except the newest ones I got. Also, I found a, uh, in a little glitch slash exploit with certain iconics where if you are wearing the iconic for certain ones i don't know which ones it's for but like say if you have an iconic weapon equipped and have it out right where is it do i have it on my person or did i get rid of it no i have it on my person so this is crash this is also crash i'm going to equip crash i'm going to aim crash i'm going to go to crafting I'm going to go to legendary. I'm going to go to make a crash. I now have two legendary crashes. Duplication glitches for the win. Also, it's don't do that with armor. Try not to do it with armor because if you do it with armor, you uh can't really get rid of the iconic armor uh, because I have four pairs of Johnny's boots in my pocket. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> oh, five. My bad. I have five pairs of Johnny boots in my inventory that I can't get rid of. And I'm being serious when I say that because if I go here for the boots, they don't even show up on the inventory because I think I technically wait. Hold on, we're about to see if, because I have them equipped, they're not showing up. What if I do that? Nope. That did not work. They're not even showing up uh, on the screen as I see them right now. Wait, no, they are actually. No, they're not. Never mind. Ignore that. Alright, so be careful if you try and do that with armor you're wearing. But yeah, it's pretty crazy how quickly you can figure out like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I do this, then I just break the game. I need to put my boots back on. Also, it's kind of ridiculous how strong some of these weapons are. Sweet. When, uh... Job, the urgent kind. Someone is yanking my friend's drones out of the sky. When you could upgrade your weapons for free, basically, and then go, oh, hey, 
I can up like say if you uh, make a weapon at level 40 and upgrade it 10 times it becomes ridiculous the sniper rifle which just so happens to be I think my favorite sniper rifle in any video game ever overwatch it is a, si a built-in silencer that does 1722 to 2105 base damage per bullet and it's a stealth weapon that goes through cover Now, normally, I would complain about, um, one aspect being stronger than any other aspect. Oh, no, I, uh, I only, like, I don't normally do this. I kind of got in the habit of breaking games when I was looking up, because I never used exploits in Skyrim, right? Like, like, the true I am become death destroyer of world exploit. But, of course, I was like, you know, I want to try it for the first time just to see how, like, what happens. Uh, the game became a mess. It, uh, potion making wouldn't work anymore at some point. It was hilarious. Oh, breaking lid is fun, but there's just something special about taking an RPG and going, now how can I become death destroyer of this world? Ah, here's how. Crafting. Hilariously enough, it always seems to be crafting, potion making, or something of a similar nature that ends up breaking RPGs like this. Yeah. That's stuff that can't really be helped, though. Also, I kind of got distracted, but... Uh, seven. Let me do my voice. <clears throat> Thank you for becoming a citizen of the kingdom. I do hope you enjoy your stay. For following. I very much appreciate that. I, uh... Didn't acknowledge that earlier, but you got me- You got me in one of my talking moments. Where I just have to finish my thought process, or I'll probably lose said thought process. What am I doing? Mission-wise right now? Okay, good. Just a gig. Oh. Well, I mean... Let's pull out our weapon. Uh... How much damage did that say? No, I need to make that. I need to make that my, uh, follower notification sound. Or something like that. Okay, so 6,000 critical damage. Interesting. Uh, I think that said 270-something. Thousand damage. Uh, let's see what the sniper rifle does really quickly. 165,000, I believe. Let's, let's, let's ping really quickly. Oh, there's a dude, uh, up there. Well, I mean, we might as well just pop. Anybody else behind cover? There might be someone there. Pop. Pop. This is this is the this sniper rifle stupid op overpowered. He went flying. He was trying to join the uh the space program of Skyrim. Uh let's ping it one more time. Anybody else I missed? Oh, it looked like there was somebody over there. There was somebody over there. And now they're no longer over there. Okay. Hello. Yep. Yeah. You know it's bad when you go with the badass uh, gun mode, and it's a lot less efficient. No fucking mercy. Yeah, the music's awesome. It fits so well. I did one move. I like... Oh, hello. I have a sniper as well. And I missed just above your head. Let, let's try that again. There we go. 83,000. Non-stealth damage, by the way. Just a base crit for a headshot, I think. Quit whining and keep shooting. Just, just give me a moment. I'm reloading. 
want a no scope. Wow, okay, I probably should have actually been aiming. There we go. Oh my god, hold on, let me reload and do something. I gotta, I gotta try a 360 no scope, of course. First time in this game I'm trying this. Oh, damn, that's a shame. But yeah, when you can do that, at least for the lower leveled areas, or the moderate difficulty areas, yeah. Oh, nah, I, I couldn't see a game like that, like this doing that. Because technically the radar is way, way more advanced than what you would see in quote unquote that technological era, era. and it's it's like literally in our eye like let's let's look at cybernetics really quickly um our kiyoshi optics are what's our are, are what are showing our hud right so like the fact that we see our ammunition like we do the fact that we see the map that we do is all in our mind like all in our eye Literally. Yeah, you're good. You're good. 